Hi guys, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. Uh, so we're uh, moving on to some solar this week. Um, as I stand here in my poison ivy patch, <laughs> um, we've we've always kind of battled with some poison ivy, but since the excavation's been done, that's all that survived. It's crazy. It's everywhere. Tread gently. <laughs> anyway, um, father-in-law stopped by yesterday. Um, he does a lot of solar, so he um, came over to give me a hand, get started putting the racking on. You can see it behind me here. Uh, it went pretty well. There's some... I wish I would have asked more questions and done some more research before we actually built the roof of the barn. So I'm having to do a lot of blocking. Um, when you put the rack on, there's some clips and then really long bolts that go right into the joists, every other joist. But the way we built the roof, I have to get up in behind the steel first and put some blocking because it's just not the rack dimensions aren't falling on any place where there's uh, like a two by four on top of a joist. So it's a little bit more work. Um, but I'm pretty new at it all, so I I, uh, I guess I just didn't ask the right questions. Um, anyway, we have uh, six rows of racking to put on. We've left the first one off there um, and did the next two. We're actually going to have to, we're going to extend the roof out a little bit uh, on the bottom for a little bit of a lean-to and stuff uh, with some future plans we have coming up. Um, so today I'm going to try to get some more of the racking done. It's going to be a little bit slow going with just me here. Um, like I say, yesterday I had some help. Um, and I'm hoping that if I can get a bunch of it done that um, later on in the week um, my father-in-law will come back and, and give me a hand uh, getting some solar panels up and stuff like that. Um, sometime this week we're going to pull out the permit for our electrical so we can start you know, wiring in and getting batteries charged and it's just been way too long uh, that they've been sitting there. So uh, that's my mission this week and I'll uh, check back in when I get a little bit more of this done. I know it's been a while since our last video, uh, apologize for that. We are, we have so many different projects on the go uh, and we're just trying to, we're just trying to keep everything together and, and get moving. Um, we have we have video footage of everything that we've been doing. I just haven't had time to do a lot of editing right now. So, um, but this video is this is kind of a we're getting close to a big a big step here at the homestead. So I thought I'd uh, do up a quick video without a lot of editing needed for it, uh, just to show you where we're at with our solar system. Uh, as you can see, we have our uh, our solar panels. Ah, so much poison ivy here. We have our uh, our solar panels on now so what we have is 39 panels in total uh, so it's pretty much a, a 10,000 10,000 volt system um, or 10,000 watt system sorry so what we have here basically is each panel uh, all 39 panels are 255 watt panels about 36 volts they're about 37.7 uh, open circuit but about 36 when everything's connected and then we have each row of three uh, so these are in series, so it's like 102 volts per string, and then there's 13 strings all the way across. Uh, as far as as far as racking goes, we used what's called fast rack. Um, you can find it online. It's it's kind of a new system, and if it was an older house or something like that that you're building, it does have some benefits to it as far as you know being able to level the system out, like the level out the rails and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it although it's once it's all together it's really connected uh like once it's all connected it's actually like it's really rigid nice and strong the clips are strong and everything uh putting it on was a little bit of a pain in the butt um just because as you step on the racks it, they, they kind of flex a little bit which means you know if you're standing on it when you're tightening down a panel it tends to really uh, make the panel you know kind of fall out of line so you, you, we're going back we were backtracking a lot trying to you know make sure everything's nice and um, square and level and in the end it, it, it all worked out uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you kind of from the Sun and then track it back and show you what's going on so from the roof it comes through um, some rain heads uh, you can see them up on the up on the, the top there the wires come down uh, into a box uh, up at the roof level there um, so everything's conduit to this point and then all of the connections 
uh, from the roof wire, uh, so from the, the solar wire into here. And then at this point in this junction box, we actually just changed the wire to be a regular household wire because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, so then we go along, these are inch and a quarter conduits. Uh, sorry, it's a little dark there. They go all the way down uh, and then they, they come down there and bust through into the powerhouse um, where everything gets connected up. Let's just go in there and I'll carry on. So just like the name says, it actually combines all of the circuits, all 13 circuits. So there's eight of them here and then there'll be five more over here. Uh, combines them all and then it makes it simple to disconnect the power from the roof. Uh, so there's some other safety features I'll talk about in a second, but basically the way this works is each one of these lines has about 102 volts on it or something, you know, around that, around that, 36 times three, you know, um, so about 100 and some volts on 102 volts. Um, your positive and your negatives. So what we're doing here is we take uh, four of the panels uh, and we combine all that output into one circuit here and then we're going to take a positive and a negative cable from here it's going to go down into the load center here that's what this bottom box is called and then it runs back out through conduits into the charge controller so the first four are going into that charge controller the next four go into that charge controller and then the last five the combined five here will go into the third charge controller these charge controllers are uh, all these products are midnight solar uh, we stayed with one uh, one company just because everything works well together uh, and Midnight Solar uh, from all my research does a great job of their of their products um, So these are the uh, Midnight Classic the 150s um, For off-grid systems, they're really rock-solid uh, all the research that I've done You know, this is this is the product to have if you're doing off-grid um, They're efficient. They're they're they just they just work great um, I'll do a video once this is all up and running because uh, I haven't even played with the I haven't played with the settings on it yet. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow everything's kind of wired in and working. But um, but I'll I'll talk a bit more about the electronics and stuff once everything's up and working. Because I mean really, who doesn't like electronics? So anyway, from there, continue on the tour here. Um, on each of the boxes, there's lightning protection. So each one of these has a, uh, a lightning protection built into it. Uh, down into the load center here you can see ah, uh, they're really there's two big two watt cables there and two big ones here so these run down into a battery bank that's under the floor uh, so each one of these is a 48 volt bank so there's two banks two days autonomy uh, there's the breakers for the the battery power there uh, there's still a little bit more wiring to do we we ran out of some wire today so there's some breakers and stuff on that that gets mounted back into this space once all of that is connected, then the the DC, that 48 volts, goes up into, this is the Radeon inverter, this big box here, um, and it's heavy. I mean, <laughs> I mounted that thing on my own and it, it was a lot of work to get it up there. but it's up there now and it's never coming down. <laughs> so anyway, it takes the DC volts here, converts it into two phases of uh, 120 each phase. And from there, those two phases run out to your regular distribution panel there. Uh, so you'll have your 120 circuits and your 240 circuits to run your house. Uh, on top of all that, we have the Mate 3 here. Um, so this connects to the network. There's a little hub on the side of this thing, communication hub. Uh, that connects all of these systems together. So even from the house, I'll be able to monitor. 
So all of those systems connect into the into the hub. It, it's called a hub. It's actually a switch, but it it really it combines all of the input from all these, puts it in one place on our network with the the applications and stuff that come with it. So we'll be able to monitor everything that's going on from the house, which is pretty awesome. Um, so there's still a few things to finish. Um, if you see down the bottom there, that's where our cables are coming out of the load center for down into the battery box. So I still got to finish this a wall here and get that ready to go. Um, on the other side of the pump house, or sorry, on the other side of the powerhouse, I'm still wiring in a couple circuits. So up there, there's going to be a shelf for all of my network gear, uh, a receptacle there, uh, which is close to the window because I think I might need to add a portable air conditioner in the winter uh, if because this room's going to get really hot, which is bad for the electronics. But other than that, you know, things, there's just some minor things that need to uh, be installed. You know, there's some temperature sensors for the batteries. Uh, that need to be installed and then we just have you know half a dozen wires to run into the load center to connect up these charge controllers and I just have to get the other the other um, string of five from the the rooftop down here and get that connected in um, but my father-in-law is coming over tomorrow he's an electrician by trade so he's helped out a great deal on all this stuff so far um, we've really been digging into it and, and learning so much about this off-grid you know setting this up ourselves and all that but uh, should be running by tomorrow, but more about that next time. I'll give you the final tour of everything working and running uh, in the next video. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>